Well, back here in the U.S., a new book examines ways the faithful can and should respond to wokeness and other dominant secular and political beliefs. In evangelization and ideology author Matthew Petrusik shows how Catholic social teaching can provide a rational and moral alternative to the secular political beliefs that we see today. It also examines how the church should handle the political arena. And joining me now is Matthew Petrusik, assistant director of the Word on Fire Institute and author of the new book, Evangelization and Ideology, How to Understand and Respond to the Political Culture. Matthew, first off, congratulations on the new book, and thank you so much for joining us. We appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you. Well, first up, I want to ask you, what prompted you to write this book? Uh, a few things. One uh, is actually somewhat uh, personal in nature. I, I spent 10 years uh, in uh, academia as a uh, assistant and then associate tenured professor. And um, it was uh, an environment that is is rightly caricatured as being a extremely woke uh, and, and everything that that means. So I sat there for uh, 10 years in faculty meetings and listening to papers and and having all these thoughts of the things I would just love to say if I had the opportunity to say them. And so this book and uh, thankfully Word on Fire, the Word on Fire Institute has given me the opportunity to, to give a, a formal response. Uh, more broadly, um, this is really a, I, I intend it to be a toolbox, a guide for Catholics and, and for all those who who seek a, a sort of a more a calmer, more rational approach to understanding politics, to how to how to navigate our our hyper political ideological cultural framework that we're we're all operating in right now. Uh, so I, I I intended to to give tools to help to deal with these barrage of claims that we get. You know, like love is love, and a man can be a woman, and and uh, you know the different meanings of of social justice. And the third is, is I really intend it to be a tool for evangelization. Um, I think we're, we're understandably oftentimes hesitant to enter into politics as we're hesitant to enter into the religious arena. Um, but showing the richness of the Catholic intellectual tradition, the Catholic social thought tradition can actually be a bridge into reaching people who want nothing to do with religion, but are quite interested in politics. And so we can show how, how the, the Catholic tradition has these resources that can answer these questions. Perhaps they can answer the uh, the deeper existential questions as well. Yeah, and Matthew, I know that you advise uh, against aligning with any of the four political ideologies. Um, that said, you know, on a practical level, how can we as Catholics, how can we adhere to, you know, our beliefs while also exercising our civic duties, especially in this deeply divided culture right now? Yeah, that's, uh, that's frankly a very, very difficult question, especially because it's so contextual and it depends, you know, do you live in a blue state, do you live in a red state, do you live in a blue pocket in a red state, a red pocket in a blue state? So much of it depends upon your, your particular political uh, milieu. One thing that, that the book really emphasizes is that there is a good answer to every question that the political arena can throw at us. So the first thing to, to, to keep in mind is that we don't have to abandon uh, the, the natural law tradition. We don't have to abandon the Catholic intellectual tradition. We certainly don't have to abandon our, our, our personal practice of the faith in order to maintain a, a sort of a, a solid core within the storm that's going around us uh, politically. So then it becomes a question of practically, you know, how do I deal with it in my place of work? How do I deal with with relatives who are being hostile to me? Uh, and, uh, and, and the book gives resources for all those different kinds of scenarios. I'm curious, um, have you received any type of feedback? And if so, uh, what has it been? Has there been any blowback at all to the book? Uh, there has. Uh, before releasing the book, I did a lecture series uh, based on some of the similar themes, um, uh, particularly on progressive wokest ideology. It's on the Word on Fire Institute uh, YouTube channel. And there was all the blowback that I, um, that I expected would, uh, would take place. Um, so part part of the the strategy of, of dealing with the the, the cur our current political climate is is just having thick skin, and knowing that speaking obvious truths, things that are empirically true, things are philosophically true, things are commonsensically true, is going to make you a target. Uh, and so if you recognize that ahead of time, it's easier just to say, well, that's just the way it is, and here's why, and and know that it's it's not going to be comfortable, but you can still have a clean conscience. And before I let you go, uh, Matthew, quickly, where can people find the book? Uh, it's available at uh, word, uh, wordonfire.org uh, under books, and you can also get it on Amazon as well. Wonderful. Great to be with you, and congratulations again on the book. God bless. Thank you. God bless you.